because I was just getting sick of the game forcing me to use characters I'm not good with in adventure mode. So I just said, fuck it. I don't remember enough of the Kingdom Hearts music to agree or disagree with you all, excuse me. That kind of snuck up on me. Wild Lugia. Oh, really? Come on. Come on, Playface, you're better than that. Of course, because I'm training you. Show this scrub lord what's up. <laughs> I don't know. Final Fantasy IX is up there for me on the soundtrack list. Though, you know how Nobu Uematsu is with his music. Very thematic. And there's a couple times where you just kind of get sick of hearing reprisals of the place I'll return to someday. Especially when it's uh, changed keys and like styles entirely. Because the entire dungeon of Olivert is annoying. And that music doesn't help. I mean, yeah, I'll listen to the title screen for 20 minutes at a time. I don't fucking care. But when you... No. No. Yep, that's why I took three uh, sessions off from doing this to do Earthbound. And that's actually... I was originally only going to take like one or two sessions to do Zelda 2. Because I was running out of Mega Man. And then the news hit for that and I'm like, Well, he programmed Earthbound from the ground up. So I'm going to plug my way through that somehow and do that as a tribute, though I really don't think I did the guy justice. But then again, that's just my streams in general, I'm kinda shitty. Yeah, Final Fantasy X had some great fucking music. And here's another rap punk song. Another Game Grumps remix, and actually, Baboom was by him too. But actually, check out all three of these guys Jerry Terry, Little Tommy J, and At Punk. Very good musicians. Oh, Earthbound is a really good game. I mean, I knew that going into it. I mean, I knew all of the fucking praise that it was getting and all that. And I really feel like I was really late to the party on that one. I really should have played it when I bought it on Wii U. But I'm like, oh, I'll get to it eventually. Ha, ha, ha. A year later. Though, I did, I did buy um, Earthbound Beginnings on Wii U. And I have played that one before. That one's pretty good. And I've got some glancing uh, knowledge of Mother 3 because I watched Chuck Conroy play it back in 2009. As a matter of fact, I found him during his Let's Play of Mother 3. I have since stopped watching him, but that's a completely different can of worms. Ooh, 
Lucas was my main in Brawl. Don't know what that says about me, but I preferred Lucas over Ness. Just something about his control, eh? Something about his control scheme just made more sense to me. Yeah, it was really good. Though, I just... It had this real campy feel through it the entire way through. And then, just tonal whiplash at the end. It's like it gets real dark when you fight the final boss, and then it gets all fucking melancholy after you fucking beat him. I didn't play a whole lot of the original Smash or Melee, though call me Scrub Lord if you must, but I usually go with Link. Because everyone was like, oh, Link fucking sucks, huh? I'm like, explain to me how I performed the best during my <coughs> series, short series I did that one night on, with the one guy from Vine Sauce. None of the Vine Sauce streamers, just one of the guys in chat. It's like, hey, let's smash. And he was playing DK, and I fucking rolled him with Link. I was edge guarding from three quarters of the way from across the screen because I was using my bow attack. It was great. Sharpen. Compensate. Oh, motor drive. Beautiful. I mean, it'd be a good. I mean, tying his shoes is a good excuse to duck. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, PK Flash is his, uh. standard smash, isn't it? His, uh. his, uh, no stick beat. I think PK Fires is uh, side to side. PK Freezes is up. No, PK Thunders is up. PK Freezes is down. That's it. Oh, yeah, neutral B. I don't play a lot of Smash, and it probably shows. Oh, okay. Though I think it's funny how Smash gives him abilities that don't even belong to him. <clears throat> PK Fire was Paula, and Freeze and Thunder were uh, Paula and Pooh. to learn arm thrust. What? If I had fucking skill link, maybe. Damn it! There we go. Uh, PK Flash was uh, specific to Ness. Like, no one else had it. Flash and um, PK Rockin was um, Ness only. I mean, yeah, enemies had Flash and Ness's Nightmare and Gygus had PK Rockin, but still.
What do you mean playing your 20th game? Like, at the same time? Man, I have a hard enough time focusing on two games. I mean, technically, if you want to... If you want to talk about the games that I'm playing right now, well, of course, there's this from my stream. I'm playing Terraria because I'm trying to plug through all the achievements for that. And Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And, you know. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Like, I've been neglecting my entire other library, and, like, a good 90% of my library is unplayed. Like, I bought the game, said, oh, I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Um. I actually can't wait for my fucking 3DS with the capture bridge to get here, because I kind of want to stream X and Y. Give me a reason to play it again. Yeah, why don't you do that? I mean, granted, that's a lot of re-rolling. A lot of secret room spelunking. Good luck with that. Hmm. <laughs> And Neon Waffle, I'm going to have to say thank you for uh, recommending Plateface, because he's actually proving to be pretty good. Although, I have only been fighting level 20s, so... Eh, that could blow up in my face any moment now. This is one of my favorite songs from Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2. That's another game I played for, like, 300 fucking hours. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2, Fantasy Life, Tales of Zillia, just to name a couple games in the last 10 years that I've played for three hours at, 300 hours at a time. Wait, you've not gotten a razor blade before? Shit, I run into that all the time. And I hate it. So I either re-roll it or skip it. And because I don't pick it up, it usually comes up later in the fucking run anyway. Uh, the... Captain is at the fucking. I think he goes back to the ship yard. I I've seen it uh, because it drops from like the fallen. And shit. Joke's on you, Vaporeon. I'm higher level. Guillotine's not gonna touch me. Ass. Shit, I think it was getting better experience off of Lugia. Uh, why not check Cerebi or something? I mean, push comes to shove, you know, there are walkthroughs. There's no shame in using one. Black Lotus is a great item. It's just rare as fuck. Gives you three red hearts, three blue hearts, and three black hearts. Though, if you ask me, it should also give you... It should give you four red hearts and an, and an internal heart, because white and you know two eternal hearts gives you a red heart um and unfortunately there's no 
green hearts. But of course, that's my magic nerd talking, so... I thought it was three. It's, it's super broken. Okay, Vaporeon, you can go away now. I don't like you. Oh, great! It pulled my Thunderbolt. Fuck you too, ass. At least it's not super effective on me, so... Black Lotus is one of those items that you really want to get on Basement 1. Uh, push comes to shove, you can look it up on the wiki. I wiki dive a lot. It's like, that's how I uh, managed to get 100% in Fantasy Life. I fucking wiki dived the entire thing. Which is what kind of pisses me off about helping people with the game. Because, you know, I helped out the one kid that, because he was helping me transfer items, and then for the next week, he's like, Dude, how do you do this? How do you do this? You should give me this! He didn't fucking ask me. He's like, you better give this to me. I'm like, fucker, I told you to back up your save before you sent me my items back. That was your payment. I don't owe you a fucking pair of creator leggings because I accidentally forgot to give them to you. Yeah, I haven't talked to the kid since. Because he kind of pisses me off. And he's like, Oh, I was 200 hours in, but it was only like level 113. I'm like, what the fuck do you do? Plug in your charger, leave it open, and fucking go to sleep? I was 100% in the game at 212 hours. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little salty right now. It's like, um... Uh... One of Jay's buddies that I talk to every once in a while occasionally bitches on uh, Facebook about having helping having helped someone with uh, something. I think it was one of the Super Robot Wars games, and you know he posts screen caps of the chat where the guy is asking for like stuff you could just glean off of a quick search on Google. It's like, are you that fucking stupid? You know how to use Facebook, you know how to use the instant messenger there, but you don't know how to use Google Im Google search? What? Oh, okay, yeah. That's right, because Team Plasma attacks. Would you just die, Vile Bloom? Thank you. Prick. Isn't Funkus supposed to appear here? I don't know, it's like the one image I saw earlier on Facebook when I woke up. It's like, um, talking about Cell's ultimate attack in Budokai 3. Where he's like, Alright, Planet, just give me that stupid energy. You know? And the dude was like... Cell's version of that attack is more powerful because there's more stupid energy than purity energy. And I'm like, I cannot argue with that. That makes perfect fucking sense. Uh, 
Oh, definitely, yeah. 16, you're a little ahead of the curve right now, aren't you? Because doesn't Roxy only have, like, level 14 as her highest level coughing? Though I think it's kind of funny how every time that um, Nintendo tries to do a all fucking uh, new generation shit, whenever they remake it, they add all the old shit back in. It's like Black and White 1, everything was a Unova Pokemon. You did not see anything from Sinnoh and earlier until the post game. Whereas in Black 2, White 2, one of the first Pokemon you can find is fucking Riolu. <laughs> uh, I think Berg's only like level 20 something. I know in uh, this game he's only level 23. Session's going way longer than I anticipated. But hey, it can't be as bad as the uh, one silver version session that went ten fucking hours. I don't like Berg. Actually, I'm not particularly fond of any of the gym leaders. Like, any of them. Oh shit, do I have anyone I can use the Eviolite right now? No, everyone's final form. I think Iris is a little obnoxious. Her character is a little too hyperactive for me. Oh, this is going to hurt a little bit. Yeah, 30 damage. That actually hurt quite a bit. How's Pigley's... Pigley's coverage is decent. Attacks do right about the same amount of damage. I'm not going to, well, switch them around by power. my moves because oh it's 
stealing his for power 105 60 Is that everyone's move sorted? Yeah. Yeah, but I still don't like her as a character. She's kind of annoying. And could potentially hurt me. Because I think it's faster and hits harder. Damn it. Come on, Piggly, why don't you hit harder? Come on, man. That will not do, Pig. That will not do. Yeah, Bianca's obnoxious. I figures, you know, they had to make her an airhead. Piggly is faster than Vaporeon? Oh, this is gonna hurt. Keep forgetting Vaporeon has Aeroblast. Even though it was happening like every other fucking turn fighting pl training plate face. What's on Hydro? Why? No! One, it attacks off his weaker attack power, and two, it's Hyper Beam. Fuck Hyper Beam. Ugh. I don't think I ever noticed it was that often. Then again, I haven't played uh, Black 2 or White 2 in about three years. As a matter of fact, it was uh, when I was working night shift in the C store at TA back home. Working in the truck stop. 